Hello everyone. I'm gonna talk about the two deleted and scrap content from the for the two World Grand Prix races that were not in the movie in the final cut for Cars 2. Now you know in Cars 2 that there was in Italy, Japan, and London races. Well there's also going to be France and Germany races, but they were cut for um, unknown reasons. And yeah. Before I explain about the deleted scenes of those races, I'm going to talk about the newest stuff I now have for my Cars collection. This right here is Millie from Cars 3. She is the Rusty Spring Center floor cleaner. She has this yellow floor cleaning machine that she pushes this like in the movie to clean the floor and she has the cones right here and here's Millie's die cast and on to the mini racer Dax Jammin and Super Speed Mater pack I don't have the snot rod mini racer pack sadly I did not have that and yeah, and also the Snotrod mini pack came in the same exact case that that's jamming and this Mater hat was in, along with the two um, on the road like mini packs that were released last year. The one, the dinosaur one with Cave McQueen and Cave Mater and the dinosaur, and the Ivy mini racer pack that came with Road Trip McQueen. Ivy and Mater, and the other two packs that were in there were the mini race pack with Sheriff Red and Sarge, and the other one with Cruz and McQueen, Purple Rum on the dock. And this is the only new one I have. The other one had Snot Rod, but I don't have that sadly. And Road Trip McQueen, I already have because I. I already have one when I got the Ivy pack, so let's talk about the Dash Jammin' one. Now, Dash Jammin', I have two of his other merchandise. I have the Color Changer and the Diecast. Now, the Mini Racer has a metallic, like, chrome silver finish, just like the Diecast. And he has, like, a determined expression on the Mini. And he has his mouth open, but the color changer had the mouth closed, but the diecast had the mouth open. And yeah, the also the mini racer does have the white tires and the white base in the bottom, just like the, the diecast. And same with Super Speed Mater. Color changer that's jamming that doesn't it's all black. And as you can see, the color changer, he changed from blue to gray. If you've seen my video about the color changer, that's jam and repo costs. And yeah, that's, that's all for that's jamming. Now to the Super Speed Mater. Now, Super Speed Mater, and, and this is my first Super Speed Mater like, merchandise to have. I don't have the one from the Salt Flats playset, that, unfortunately. So, this is the only Super Speed Mater I have. And this Mater looks really cool. He has the gray, the, the gray silver gunmetal gray, like, rocket stuff on them. He has like two rockets on the side with the number 55. And he also has the logo that reads I am land speed. Which is a nice like reference to Light McQueen's famous line that and he always says I am speed. But for super speed majors he it says I am land speed. And there's Japanese characters and then blue stripes and the, like, wrenches. And yeah, this Super Speed Mater mini racer looks so cool. And so, now let's talk about the, like, unused, the two World War Prix races that weren't in the movie. So, we'll first talk about the Paris race. 
here is the Paris race that we have seen. And here, it starts out with this picture. And also, McQueen has his car, one spoiler. And also in the deleted scene, he actually has the car's one spoiler for some odd reason. Now, it's unknown why he had the car's one spoiler. But my guess is that maybe it's a placeholder, most likely. Maybe they haven't finished making his car's two model with the Wolverine Prix spoiler. So maybe that's why the World War Pre one is not in the deleted scene, and the Cars one spoiler is just a placeholder, most likely. That's pretty much my guess. And then, oh yeah, and the deleted scene first starts off with the World War Pre race, it's like racing, and there's a lot of laps, obviously, and it's a Lehman style endurance race, and there is. Like Francesco right here, and there's a French flag, and yeah, there's the race is like racing right here, and we can see uh, one of the cars is like going to the pits, and I don't know who this racer is, uh, and. Yeah, this racer has like a grill, so it probably is either Max Schnell or Nigel Gearsley. The grill looks a little bit more like Nigel's because Max's grill looks more like this, like that. But for Nigel, it's more like this, just like that one. So maybe this racer is Nigel Gearsley. But I'm not sure if it's him. And also, he doesn't have this. Uh, he doesn't have this like black bumper that Nigel has. And also, Matt Chanel has this like bumper part right here. And this racer doesn't. So not sure if this is an early design of Max or Nigel or somebody else. But after he leaps the pits, we can see that Lightning McQueen is very tired and sleepy. And then the other cars are trying to make him stay awake. And Luigi, Guido, and Fillmore don't have headsets. And Fillmore has his like bandana with the fuel cans like he had in Cars 1. And then Mater was just thinking about the spy stuff. And if, if you've seen the Fimit Missile deleted scene right here, Mater at what had knew about the, like, about what's going to happen for the World War Pre races if there's going to be crashes and the Red and Tana Ball and all that. But he accidentally said that he wasn't a spy, and because of that, well, yeah. Light McQueen and the rest of his team decided to have an idea of playing the I Spy game to keep Lightning awake. And also, Mater's the only one out of all McQueen's team in this video scene to have a headset. And then... After McQueen leaves the pits, we can see that Francesco Bernoulli is at the pits, and his crew chief Giuseppe Mother Rossi actually speaks in the Paris Deliet scene. Now he didn't speak in the movie, but and here he speaks in this deleted scene. So he originally didn't have voice lines, but he didn't have any voice lines in the final cut. And then after Francesco leaves the pits, we can see Light and McQueen and the other cars like Shu Todoroki racing. And Light and McQueen is go have gone to the church place and passed it. And we can see the fans are here. And there's that red antenna ball. And if you've seen the Finn Missile Delia scene, this red antenna ball will cause crashes and make other cars um, in the World War Pre crash. And instead of a World War Pre laser camera, it was going to be a red antenna ball. And a, a Neva Lemon car was going to use that red antenna ball to cause wrecks. And then 
while Lightning and his friends are playing the I Spy game, Luigi, Guido, Fillmore, and Mayor are guessing what Lightning had saw, and Lightning said it's something that big, it begins with A, and then Francesca Bernoulli passes McQueen, and Lightning got all the energy he needed, but his friends were puzzled about what Lightning saw, so they wanted to know what Lightning saw, and Lightning told them that he saw uh, an antenna ball, and Mater was freaking out mm, from because if you seen the Finnet missile Delia scene, Mater knew about Finnet missiles, uh, like Matt. You Mater knew about what Finnet missile told him about the red antenna ball that causes Rex. If you seen that deleted scene, you'll know that Mater um, knew about what Finn told him about that antenna ball calling Rex. And yeah, and Mater, and because of that, Mater was freaking out and was worried about uh, Light McQueen. Up from that, and he was worried about Light McQueen if he is gonna have an accident from that wreck, from what happened to some of the other racers from that thin deleted scene. And also, when Lightning passes the pits, uh, we can see that Mac is actually there. But he wasn't a part of McQueen's crew in the World Grand Prix in the movie. It was Sarge instead. Also, notice how Sarge isn't there. Maybe it's because Sarge was originally not going to appear a part of Team McQueen in the World Grand Prix. And instead, Mac was originally going to appear there. But for unknown reasons, Mac was not in the World Grand Prix Team McQueen. And it was instead replaced with Sarge in the final cut. Now, let's be honest. Mac didn't really have that much screen time in Cars 2. Because in the movie, he only was in the, the two, two scenes. One is where he was seeing Raider Springs in the beginning. After Lightning McQueen came back to Raider Springs and Major Tony Otis. And then the other one was at the end of the film when Major told... Uh, Mac and everyone else about the story about what happened in the movie. So, yeah. Seems like Mac was originally going to appear in a, a part of McQueen's team, but was replaced with Sarge in the final cut for unknown reasons. So, alright. Anyways, while with that, Mayor was still freaking out, and... Mater leaves the pits, and we can see Mac right there. And then Mater leaves the pits and goes off the track and goes into like the city. And he accidentally used some weapons that. And while Mater's using the parachute, we can see the. Mm, the Light McQueen's racer still. And there's actually this World Grand Prix racer that was cut. From the movie, this racer's name is Marlena Wolfsburg. She is the World Grand Prix racer, the Halemons type racer, just like Shoe to the Rogi and Carla Beloso. Now, Marlena Wolfsburg is actually the other female World Grand Prix racer, while the other is Carla Beloso. And because of the fact that Marlena is cut, Carla Beloso is the only female Cars 2 racer. And also, Marlena Wolfsburg is the Germany racer. It's unknown what her number would be, but we know that her country is from Germany. And if you watch the Germany race deleted scene. Also, Matt Schnell and Marlena Wolfsburg are Germany racers. And there's actually... Mm, also, Lewis Hamilton and Nigel Gears are both British racers, while Lightning and Jeff Corvette are USA racers. And Pyotr Resinov and Vitaly Petrov are both Russian racers, and Miguel Camino and Fernando Alonso are Spanish racers. So, some of the World Grand Prix racers have, like, 
two racers from the same country, and that's an exact similar thing for Marlena Wolfsburg and Matt Schnell. And also, Marlena Wolfsburg actually does speak in the deleted scene, and she had some voice lines, and... Yeah, we can see that she passes McQueen. Lightning is trying to catch up. And well, then Mater goes into some sort of train subway place. And yeah, Mater goes into some sort of water place and then comes out of the vent. And then there's the car with the antenna ball. And then... Mater, like, uses, uh, this car as, like, a ramp, and then he tried to go onto the fan stance, but instead go on the racetrack, and Lightning McQueen stops just in front of him, and, yeah, Lightning just stops in front of Mater, And then the racers behind McQueen just passes McQueen because of that. Because of Mater on the track. And also, when Mater like, gets the antenna ball out, we notice that the card that had the red antenna ball wasn't the evil lemon. So most likely the lemon must have escaped while seeing Mater. And it turns out it was this car with the Professor Z, like, model. And it was... Yeah, that car was actually innocent. And then the police cars came and Mater was thinking about telling McQueen. But then realized that he shouldn't tell. Because, you know, this... If you watch the... Paris deleted scene, and then McQueen and Mater were surrounded by police cars, and that was it. Now, it's unknown who would have won the Paris race deleted scene. Now, if this, if this happened in the movie, I'm guessing the winner might have been maybe Francesco Bernoulli, or it maybe could have been uh, Raul Cerule since he's France. Or it maybe could have been a race car that was behind McQueen in second place before he gets first place. And I'm trying to um, get show you the scene of that car. So I'm going to cut the video until I get into the car that was second before passing McQueen. Alright, here's the racer. And yeah, that's the racer's second place. And yeah, this racer... It's probably either Matt Schnell or Nigel Gearsley, or we don't know who that racer is, but it's probably either Max or Nigel. So that racer most likely would have won, or Francesca Bernoulli, maybe. So that's pretty much it for the Paris, like, deleted scene race. So now let's talk about the Germany one. Here it is, the deleted scene for the Germany race of the World Grand Prix. Now, this race is some sort of off-road course. And, yeah, it's ob obviously a dirt track race. And we can see that there's a, some sort of rally car racing. And... Yeah, the rally car was racing when we in, in the beginning of the lead scene, and here he is. Now, this most likely probably is Rausa Rule since he is a rally car, so it probably is Rausa Rule. And we can see that this car, which I'm gonna say is Rausa Rule, we can see that he's racing, and then Brent Mustangberger is announcing. And also, David Hoskap appears in this scene with a headset. And also, um, we can see a race car race. And, and there's Marlena Wolfsburg again. And yeah, she has a similar body style compared to Carla Veloso. 
and Shu Todoroki. And Marlena Wolfsburg has a purple design. She has purple. And she has race fans right here in this scene. And then it's some sort of qualification or one racer goes to one at a time. And then Marlene, it was Marlena's turn. And she races and speeds through. And we can see a tractor there. And then Marlena Wolfsburg races around the forest. And there's she is racing. And there's her fans there. And then while she's racing, Light McQueen isn't due to go next, but he's right now talking to Fillmore Legion Wu. Also, Mac wasn't there and Sarge wasn't there. Not sure what what, what happened to Mac during this event. So not sure why Mac is there, even though he was in the France deleted scene. So yeah. And also, when Lightning McQueen is talking about what happened to Mater, Luigi told him that Mater was upset about what happened in the France race, so he decided to go home, and McQueen just wanted to talk to Mater. But Mater, mo but Luigi said that Mater already left, and Lightning McQueen had to go next for the race. So then he goes and races around the Germany racetrack. And then this crew chief, who we don't know who it is, and someone told them that there were like two turns and then the straightaway. And it's probably either Fillmore or Luigi that told them that. And then Light, Light McQueen had... Thank the crew chief about it, who is probably either Luigi or Fillmore. And then while he's racing, we can see Mater right here leaving to go to the airport. And he was sad about what happened in uh, Paris deleted scene. Now, it's not known who would have won the Germany race, but I'm probably guessing that it's either Lightning McQueen or Matt Schnell or Raul Cerule, maybe. And it's, it's maybe one of them. Because Raul's a rally car, and he's good at the dirt. Lightning McQueen probably would have won that. Possibly, and it's very obvious. And for Matt Schnell, well, it's his country. So he might have placed in the top five, most likely. Now, Francesca Bernoulli definitely probably would not win the Germany race because this is an off-road track and Formula One cars do not do so good on the dirt. And Francesco didn't race well on the dirt in the movie, so Francesco Bernoulli most likely would not win the Germany race if this was in the movie. So, yeah. And also, even though Brent and... David appeared in this deleted scene. Daryl Karcher doesn't, but he did appear. But Daryl appeared in the in this deleted scene, which is the cars, like tall tail deleted scene. Which we'll talk about that deleted scene for, because of the you know announcer Daryl and all that. Now, here is the Cars 2 Tall Tale deleted scene. Now, this deleted scene actually had Bob Cutlass there. You can see that he is there in the Cars 2 Tall Tale deleted scene. Now, it's unknown why he was cut and never appeared in the movie. Now, I'm not sure why he wasn't a World War Pre announcer, but Daryl Carter was. But maybe it's most likely due to the fact that mm, he was most likely replaced by Brent and David, or maybe he w was, mo or maybe his voice actor Bob Costas who was mm, pretty much s still um, still busy and all that. 
So maybe those might have been the reasons why Bob Cutlass never was in the movie, but he was luckily in Cars 3 at least. <laughs> but it's unknown why he didn't appear in Cars 2. Maybe it's because he is still announcing the Pissing Cup, or maybe he had some or vacation, or he was taking a break or something. Or maybe he was replaced by Brent or David, most likely. Uh, either way, Bob Cullis would have been a very nice return for Cars 2, but at least Daryl Carter appeared in Cars 2. So, yeah... Oh yeah, and also this in Tall Tale deleted scene, the racers in there, we don't know what the racers in that deleted scene would have been, but they most likely probably would have been Car 3 veterans, or Car 3 video game racers, or maybe even Cars 1 racers. Now I'm not sure how it would have worked for Cars 3 video game racers, since the video games still are in canon. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, if you watch the, this deleted scene, you'll know about all that, but this video, I'm talking about the two unused World Grand Prix races deleted scene, so, yeah. Mm. Alright, so, that is pretty much it about my explanation about the cut and scrap content for the two World Grand Prix races. And, yeah. So, yeah. Now, if the two World Grand Prix races made it in the final cut, the France and Germany ones, who would have won the France and Germany ones? Well, like I said earlier, the France one, if it happened in the movie... And maybe it mo most likely would have been Francesco Bernoulli as the winner, or Carla or Shu, since they those three were the best performing World Grand Prix races besides McQueen. Because we mostly see them in the top four and or in the top five. And yeah, it might have been one of them that is the winner, or it maybe it would have been Raul since he's France. <laughs> Or maybe it would have been Rip or Max or any of the GT racers. Um, so, yeah, I'm guessing the winner for the France race might have been Carla, Shu, or Francesco, most likely. Since they were the best performing World Grand Prix racers besides McQueen. Now, the Germany deleted scene, the winner of that race, if it happened in the movie... And if the and if it did happen in the movie, the winner might have been most likely McQueen, Max, or Raul. Now it might have been now it possibly might have been either Shu or Carla or Rip or N Nigel, Lewis, Jeff, or Miguel. But it's probably most likely Max, Raul, or Lightning because. Lightning is obviously the main character, and he wins like so many races. So maybe he might have, he probably would have won the Germany race, or it could have been Raul since he is a rally car, and rally cars are very good at the dirt. So maybe Raul might have won the Germany race, or McQueen, or Max Schnell. Now Max, I consider him that he might win, that he probably would win the Germany race since he is Germany, or it could be Raul because he's good at the dirt, or maybe McQueen since he's the main character and won the Porto Corsa. Now, about Francesco, well, he definitely would not win the Germany race because he's not very good on the dirt. If you've seen the movie in the Tokyo race, you'll know that he didn't do so good in the... Um, World Grand Prix Tokyo dirt race. But on the asphalt, he does a lot better. So, yeah.
so that is pretty much it for my explanation about the two scrap content of the two World Grand Prix races that weren't in the movie in the final cut, sadly. So, yeah. Anyways, that is all for today's video. And if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you tomorrow for a, another video. And it will be on the Valentine's Day special video. And that's all for this video, guys. So, anyways, guys. Bye now.